pricking of my thumbs, something wicked this way comes. My husband. King that shall be. If we should fail. We fail. Didst thou not hear noise? He thought I heard a voice cry, sleep no more. Are you a man? Aye, and a bold one. That dare look upon that which might have all the devil. My voice is in my sword. Joel um, emailed me when I was in Athens one summer. Uh, playing Prometheus Bound at the Legion Theatre of Epidaurus. And um, I think it's one of the most important emails that have fallen in my inbox uh, because I've been a fan for so many years uh, of the Coen Brothers films. Uh, I love uh, loved every single one. And the email said, hey, Catherine, um, doing a movie of the tragedy of Macbeth, would you... Uh, might you be interested in playing the three witches? Um, and w- which uh, it, it, it was a, um, an offer I couldn't refuse, as they say. I was thrilled. I was thrilled. The rehearsal process was very, very special in that there was a rehearsal process at all. Um, uh, basically, um, uh, I I uh, my main rehearsals were with Denzel, uh, and um, w- we would explore the the scenes, and there was um, talk of um, how to approach the the verse speaking, and um, not make it sound uh, stentorian or stuffy, make it sound natural. So Denzel did many explorations in that sense. Um, and then, you know, uh, discussing what was going on between us. Um, there were also rehearsals with uh, Joel uh, exploring what kind of a creature this witch was. Um, so um, he felt very strongly that they are crows or crow-like uh, or sometimes like standing stones or sometimes... Uh, women who live on the outskirts of society. So um, I would uh, kind of go home and research those propositions and then uh, explore with Joel, Fran would, would, um, would be there too. And we evolved uh, a language for the witches together. Working with Joel was uh, wonderful because he has uh, such extraordinary, uh, unique ideas, um, such as, uh, you know, the, 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 the witches are crows. Um, uh, and, um, uh, 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 and uh, but he's uh, interested in process, so uh, I would offer something and he would feed back, and then I'd offer something else and he'd feed back, and then he'd propose something new. So it really felt uh, like a dialogue um, um, and not what sometimes happens, which is when a director says, it's like this, uh, do it like this, which doesn't feel creative. So uh, I think one of the most creative experiences I've ever had. So uh, Joel's uh, approach to Shakespeare um, uh, struck me as being uh, fundamentally uh, 
that he was uh, focused on on the story um, uh, and uh, fascinated by by the themes um, that it's about time it's about murder uh, it's also a thriller um, and he researched for a long, long time how to create this uh, world, um, uh, the, the world that Macbeth and, and all the characters live in, and was convinced very early on that it wasn't a natu naturalistic, it wasn't based in Scotland, um, as it were. And I think what's uh, genius uh, in, in what he's created uh, with uh, Bruno Dovernell and and the other collaborators, uh, is that it um, it has a a, a mythic uh, sense, an epic sense, by being in black and white, by not being naturalistic, but very very strong atmospherically, and very deeply connected to um, uh, what, what what the characters are are, are going through, and uh, uh, so. Where it differs from other people's vision of di uh, directors is that uh, sometimes directors, whether in the theatre and film field, they have to, well, certainly in the theatre, have a concept and then they slap on the concept and it becomes a bit rigid. But Joel was very fluid. It was as if he was writing to Shakespeare every night, kind of going, shall we do this? <laughs> Um, uh, and and the language and the world of it evolved. Uh, to work with the rest of the the cast uh, uh, was wonderful. Uh, I didn't see uh, in rehearsal because I was uh, in in New York uh, playing Time of Athens, so it, I was mainly working uh, with uh, uh, Denzel. Uh, and um, uh, and and Fran was there all the time as well, which was amazing because her insights are all always extraordinary and, and unique. And you go, thank God for that, you know. <laughs> um, uh, but I think uh, what's exciting is that this mixture of American and UK cast. Uh, Joel said and Fran that initially they'd thought to kind of, to ask us to do a kind of general American accent and then Joel ditched that idea and said no, he was interested in this um, diversity of sound and that altogether it would make a, a, a unity and not least because it's bound by the idiom of black and white. Um, and so that's a very exciting a mixture of UK, American actors, um, uh, some uh, with theatre experience, some with uh, more film experience. Um, so it's so exciting uh, what is, uh, that, it, that is, the film is going out there to, and will appeal to audiences who um, normally wouldn't, might, may not be a, a Shakespeare fans. And uh, I can feel that Shakespeare is saying thank you very much to Joel uh, uh, to, to, uh, uh, for creating a piece of uh, storytelling that is, is, is so uh, accessible. The production design and the cinematography um, uh, was uh, uh, absolutely integral to to how we uh, uh, how I worked um, because um, uh, so that, that we were uh, in a studio. I remember the first scene uh, in in sand. Um, so it immediately gave a a, a, a sense of. Uh, 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 of a very strong atmosphere, and then um, uh, uh, Bruno was so uh, like twinned <laughs> with Joel, um, so it was very much 
are working together to um, to accomplish what they how they saw the shot. In terms of the physicality of the role uh, um, and the genesis of uh, of it, um, it really uh, started with with Joel's idea of playing all three of um, uh, so that I had to kind of evolve a sense of three in one, um, so creating different persona uh, and um, doing improvisations by myself where I'd be um, the what the strong one, the younger one, the the ironic one, uh, then working um, on what, watching a lot of videos about crows, watching crows in parks and woods, and uh, 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 their, their movements and their angles and their flights, and then just a sense. Oh, it's uh, um, they. Why does why does Joel think that they're crows? I mean, crows have an aerial view, so this sense of. Um, uh, looking into the seeds of time. So it was working from Joel's provocation and then back to Shakespeare and the language. So uh, uh, this aerial view of, uh, 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 of humanity uh, that the crows have, for instance, because they're, they're, they're in flight, they're looking down, they have an overview, kind of fed into um, this idea of, of, of prophecy. Uh, and looking into the seeds of time. And then uh, it was um, uh, working with, with Denzel and feeling that it was very much about uh, a, a quite an intimate relationship. I, I Almost the witches on one level are his thoughts, are uh, his darker thoughts articulated, um, uh, mirroring back to him. Um, so it was... Uh, kind of confluence of many things.